hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing great today's video is going to be a fenty inspired t-shirt dress diy so in case you live under a rock rihanna launched a clothing line earlier this year and i was going through her website and i saw this corset t-shirt dress it retails for a cool 300 dollars okay and it's quite bomb but at the moment i can't afford it i want it i'm too broke for it so i decided i diy it so i went to the shops and picked up a white t-shirt i tried to find the most opaque one it didn't really work out after doing this DIY I wish I could have gotten a better quality t-shirt but this is what I got and I got it for five dollars it's still quite amazing and the concept is the same so in case you want to make a Fenty inspired t-shirt dress as well you can just use another color because any other color won't be as visible as using white and as you can see this is the after we have the lines going all the way from the shoulder seam to the hem I really love how this turned out. I think it's quite cool. I'm just going to try it in another color because I think it will look so good. But I love how this turned out. And in case you love it too and don't have $300 to spend on the actual thing, let's get into DIYing it. So all you're going to need is a safety pin, actually a lot of safety pins and tape measure. So I measured 2 inches from where the neckband is and I pinned safety pins on both sides. This is going to be where my seam would start running from the shoulder to the hemline. I don't know if it's a princess seam, I don't know what you'd call it. But what you're going to do is you're going to gather up the fabric as much as you want. So I just pinched a bit of fabric and put in safety pins all along along the line all the way down to the hem so I advise you use safety pins because they're not going to poke you as you take this off and yeah just opt for safety pins it's safer you're not going to poke yourself and it's easier to just turn the shirt around and make this seam so all I'm doing is I'm pinning the safety pins all the way down the length of my t-shirt as you can see there's quite a bit of fabric there and I did this on both sides so just go pinching the fabric pinning it in place all the way down to the hem so at some point I ran out of safety pins because turns out I don't have as many safety pins as I thought so I decided to use pins but I did poke myself when turning this around so that was fun once everything is pinned all the way down you're going to flip the shirt over to the back side and repeat the same exact thing just pin the bunch of fabric you've picked up with your fingers and Pin it all the way to the hem. That's literally all you need to do. Once the nice fabric is nice and bunched up, you're going to sew along the pins all the way down, both at the back and the front of the t-shirt, and that's basically it. So taking this to my sewing machine, I used a zigzag stitch for this because it's a t-shirt dress and I felt like a straight stitch would break on me. So I opted for a zigzag stitch and I sewed this all the way down the length of my t-shirt, right where the pins are. Don't forget to use the pins as guidelines. You can draw a straight line if you need to make this easier for yourself it's just a matter of what you find easy and just do that as you can see I'm sewing as I take out the pins the points with safety pins I also took that out because I don't want to break my machine needle and I just sewed all the way down and had my fun this literally took about 10 minutes it's super easy to do such a fun project I love how this turned out so once you've sewn down every side, both the back and the front, you're going to have something that looks like this. As you can see, there's a bunch of fabric gathered up inside the t-shirt. This is still the t-shirt inside out. And this is what makes it look like a corset t-shirt dress. So I also took in the sides of this by sewing and cutting off the excess fabric under the armpit. I wish I hadn't done this though because the original t-shirt dress isn't as tight as mine was. So that's something I definitely would do differently just leave it loose and fun and that's all you have to do so what we're going to do now since we have a lot of uneven gathering of fabric inside I'm going to take that bunch of fabric that we gathered and I'm going to make it equal all the way around since my t-shirt is white in color you're going to see this through the t-shirt and it looks so much better when it's all even so all I did was I measured from the seam where I sewed the zigzag stitch and cut up to one centimeter of fabric that way I only had one centimeter of fabric left all the way around and 
you're going to repeat this for both strips of fabric and you're going to be left with a tiny bit of fabric and this is what you'll show through your t-shirt once you wear it from the inside and as you can see once you flip it around there's no bulky bit of fabric behind your t-shirt and it just looks so much better in my opinion once that's done turn your t-shirt the right way out and wear it and you have a Fenty inspired t-shirt dress I really do love how this turned out I think it's quite fun and different it's a different variation to the t-shirt dress and I quite like it let me know what you think of it let me know if you're going to be trying it I would love to know other than that that's all I have for you guys today thank you so much for watching I hope to catch your beautiful beautiful face in my next video until then take care of yourself and wear Fenty if you can afford the real thing I am really jealous of you right now I'm just gonna go be sad and broke so see you guys next time bye <laughs>